hot girls moved in next door. They're gonna spend all their time lounging around in their teddies, talking dirty like girls do when they're alone. So, the Rose in jail, and Ralph Waldo Emerson comes to visit. He takes one look at his friend and says, Henry, what are you doing in there? And Thoreau says, Ralph, what are you doing out there? <laughs> well, I'd say Cicero put it best. Vente segundus tenacursum. <laughs> Dee Dee, you win. A polymer does break down if you add an extra chlorine at him. This new chemistry set sure is fun. We have different ideas of fun. It's getting light. I think I'm gonna go to bed. Me too. I'll take a bath. Yeah, I guess I'll do my jumping jacks. Oh, you <sighs> get it? It's too hot for pajamas, let alone exercise. It won't be so bad, my knees. Chewing, bed, bath, and beyond. Oh my god. Ah! What the hell is the dark? Where are the lights? Hey, what's going on? Oh man, look at those guys. And those girls are totally helpless. This one's for you. <laughs> Now let's go take care of that guy with the telescope. Oh. My. God! There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Spending by a morally bankrupt Hollywood studio system? Corporate waste and its blatant disregard for the common man. Short guys? Uh, those are all bad, but what I really hate is how I know we are. We kicked some serious booty tonight. Not the most ladylike way to spend an evening, but... I hit one of them with a skillet. Ah, you know what they say. Use a pan, go to jail. The point being, nobody knows what we did because nobody saw us. So? So people get famous for the things that we did. They get rich. Where's our hair care commercials, our video games, our fast food tie-ins? We do save the world on almost a weekly basis. <sighs> exactly. You don't see little action figures of us at your local toy store, do you? Such is the plight of three beautiful ex-cons who work for a clandestine organization seeking to rid the world of peril. Look, bottom line, we're not gonna get famous, all right? You know how Jack is? He likes everything low-key. He's a no-frills kind of guy. Except when he, you know, dresses up like one of the village people. Oh, okay, fine. So this isn't my normal work attire. <clears throat> Fact is, I've been doing a little acting in my spare time. I mean, a local production of Annie, get your gun! Oh, and the uh, agency pulled me out of a dress rehearsal I didn't have time to change. And if I hear one unkind word about it from any of you, I'll throw you right back into the prison you're in before we put you in this clandestine organization that's seeking to rid the world of peril. We said it already. Oh. Okay, then. So, I appreciate y'all coming on such short notice. Something went wrong with one of our operations. This is Special Agent Angela Connolly. Sadly, she was killed while on an undercover assignment inside Fondles, the singles-only community. Fondles, that figures. Cutesy little titillating name used solely to pull in the raunch-driven masses who think sleaze and decadence is a substitute for leading meaningful lives. Actually, it was named after the owner, Chuck Fondles. Or that. Now, Agent Connolly was very close to exposing a foreign spy, a reportedly violent sociopath codenamed The Player. Now, we know he set up a hidden communication center inside the complex to transmit stolen government codes. We also know he has ties to a rogue group within Icelandic intelligence. 
Icelandic intelligence? Never heard of it. Well, she tells you how good they are. Now, there are a number of potential suspects living in the complex. Chief among them, the building manager, Leave Schreiber. Not the actor, of course. What actor? Never mind. Uh, we set you up as his assistant so you can watch him more closely. The actor? The building manager. Well, then who's going to be watching the actor? Nobody. There isn't any actor. Then why do you keep talking about one? I don't keep talking. Just do what he asks. He's got a temper, so don't make him mad and don't get fired. <clears throat> what do we do? Maybe if you actually opened your case packets. A bit testy. A little chafing of those chaps there, buckaroo. <clears throat> You'll be living there, okay, mingling with the residents looking for other suspects. You'll be going in as cheerleaders for an arena football team. Arena football? Why not the NBA or the NFL? Couldn't get the rights. Your cover names are in there, too. Tango and Breeze? Sounds like a couple of fruit drinks. And I hate cheerleaders. How can you hate cheerleaders? They're an American institution like baseball, apple pie, tax evasion. The whole idea of it, 16-year-old virginal young girls in their tight little short skirts bending over so middle-aged men can get a peek at their underwear, thrusting out their chest and shaking their pom-poms, jumping up and down, up and down, writhing and grinding and rubbing their hands all over their bodies, dancing themselves into some sort of sexual frenzy? Oh, yeah. No, I, I hate that, too. Uh, so, you all have your assignments. Let's get started. Hey, I may have been locked up too long, but this place doesn't look half bad. We were out of circulation for a while. It is the new millennium. I think uh, people are more wired, more aware. Hmm. I'm starting to think the whole pickup scene is gone by way of the dinosaurs. Ow! You know, you must be from Tennessee, because you're the only 10 I see. Why don't you come over later for pizza and sex? And, uh, bring the pizza? My name's Hank. Remember that. You'll be screaming it later. Nice freckles on your chest. You mind if I play Connect the Dots? You look like a girl with a speech impediment. <laughs> Can't say no. <laughs> oh, spill a little beer on you, baby. Gotta get you out of them wet clothes. At least we can get Jack to check out all the prints on these boxes. Yeah, not to mention the prints on us. I've had it for one day. I'm gonna go scrub with lye and a wire brush. Hey, ladies. Name's Roger. That's short for Roger. It's my cherry GTO parked out front. My life is all about fast cars and women named... Uh, Tango. <clears throat> and this is Breeze. Tango and Breeze. <laughs> Sounds like a couple of fruit drinks. <laughs> Scares me that we think alike. Anyway, been pumping a little iron. I do three, four hours a day. Benched 420 today. Uh, but my shower's broke. I was wondering if I might shower here. You know, I don't think so, Raj. Hey, I'm down with that. You don't know me. Don't trust me in there alone. How about we shower together? I'll tell you what, you still don't feel safe, you bring your sister. Meantime, what would it take for one of you ladies to go out with me? Well, you could try chloroform. <laughs> Is that a perfume? Here, have a drink. Hey, thanks. Let's just... Now leave. I love a dominant woman. Hmm? I'll see you tomorrow night, huh? Big mixer in the rec room. Be there, be square. <laughs> like a dying fantasy. Sorry, didn't mean to disturb you, just working on a new song. Scott Barnes, call me Jammer. I'm Tango. I'm Breeze. <laughs> Sounds like... We know. A song. A one, a two. Oh, yeah. Tango. Wow, I am on today. <laughs> so, you going to the mixer tomorrow night? Well, I wasn't gonna go, but maybe I'll go if you go. Maybe I'll go if you give me your pick. You know, for when you make it big. So, 
Oh, Mr. Schreiber. That's an interesting accent. Where are you from? Kirkjubeja, Gloucester. Kirkjubeja, Gloucester? Isn't that in Iceland? Blue ribbon for your head. How know you that? Meet, meet Sigurlina. Someone I met from there. So, what exactly does this job entail? Hail Sidnia Kanaranum. Hello, Tutor. I need you to them have speak the mother tongue. I'm teaching them English? I thought I was your assistant. If that you cannot, no need for you have leave Schreiber. Now, problem there is. I uh, can attend Norland school at a Sunland school. Ah, kitchen's not bad. It's a lot of shelf space. It's a dishwasher. Trash and packer. <sighs> Last time she'll ask me to wash her good china. Oh, not another walking steroid. Who thinks Mount Rushmore is a natural formation? Oh. Hey. You caught us at a bad time. We're here. Well, I could... Look, it's late, I'm tired. Can't we just fast forward to the essentials, okay? I'm a Pisces, my pet peeves are nuclear war and people who drool on their pillows. My favorite household appliance is the mirror and my biggest turnoffs are long nose hairs and insurance salesmen. Not to mention, of course, long nose hairs on insurance salesmen. I'll read anything with word bubbles in it and pina coladas give me gas. So if you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna slip into something a little bit more comfortable, like the other room. <laughs> We're supposed to mingle. Everyone's a suspect. She's such a kidder. Hi, come in. Or stand there perfectly still. I'm Breeze, this is Tango. And you are... <clears throat> My name is Mel. Mel Hooters. Hoover. Mel Hoover. I'm sorry, I meant to say Hoover. I'm just a little aroused. Nervous, a little nervous. I, I, I get this way around barely, barely dressed women. You don't have to be nervous, Mel. Are you sure you don't want to come in? No, thank you. <clears throat> I'm the activities director here at Fondles, and I wanted to let you know that we are looking forward to having you. Here. Having you here. <laughs> Didn't mean having you, like, you know, having you. I just meant, um... I know what you meant. I... It was nice of you to stop by and welcome us. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a long day. <laughs> Sorry about the door thing, Mel. It's nice to meet you. Oh, yeah. I'm a little... Ooh, sweaty. Good to meet you, too. I gotta ask, you know, a guy who's so nervous around women isn't the most likely activities director at a singles place. Well, you know, Dr. Phil says we should confront our fears, so I... I try. I try. I actually repair photocopy machines. Now, see, most guys around here want to make their lives sound more exciting than they actually are. I love that you told us the truth, even though most people wouldn't think repairing copy machines is exciting. Well, it is if your 14 a 99 collator's on the fritz. <laughs> <laughs> Activity schedule. Uh, the big event is the mixer tomorrow night. I hope I can count on seeing you naked. There! I hope I can count on seeing you there. Yeah, well, we would miss it. Oh, 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 by the way, if you want any of the mini quiches, it is smart to show up early. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm, I microwave them myself. <laughs> Bye. straight. You're teaching English to his staff in Icelandic? Wait, hold the phone. Where did you learn Icelandic? Sigurlina. Sigurlina? Bjorn, number 3872549. My cellmate. She was from Kirkjubeja, Klauster, and I wrote love poems for her. Gotcha. That's how it is in prison. No, I didn't write them to her. I wrote them for her to send to Oliver, her boyfriend back in the fjords. Well, in a prison overlooking the fjords. She needed a few lessons in romance, and it just so happens I wanted to learn Icelandic. Did you know in Iceland the phrase, my one and only true love is flavish? Mm, that explains their low birth rate. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi there, partner. Lone Ranger get up at the cleaners? Behave yourselves. I got the spurs in my bag. Oh. 
Didi, I need you to get in Leif Schreiber's office and check his computer for the codes. Me get on it, Kimosabi. Oh, and you might be interested to know, he's from Iceland. Hmm. Well, that complicates matters. Because we got two suspicious hits off the fingerprints you gathered. First, there's a Roger Gibson. Mr. My Life's all about fast cars? Yeah, the kind of fast cars that race away from banks. He was a getaway driver and a robber. He did five years. Guess where? Iceland. Ja. <laughs> then there's hit number two, Scott Barnes. Jammer, the rock star? Not rock. Rap. As in rap sheet. To rap rap sheet's a double meaning kind of thing. Yes, well, largely petty crime, but what's most suspicious is I can't find anything on him beyond two years ago. I mean, it's as if he never existed until he came here. From Iceland. So, we have at least three major suspects, not to mention an entire maintenance staff, and everyone's from Iceland. Why would they all come here? That's a good question. I'll suggest the agency form a committee to look into it. Huh. Meantime, Shane, get on the roof. Hook this signal detector onto the complex's satellite dish. It may help us pinpoint where the player's transmissions are coming from. Dee Dee, get into that computer pronto. Cassie, we need to know the last person Agent Connolly saw. That may lead us to her killer. Incidentally, plenty of seats available for Annie. Get your gun tonight. Agent Connolly's apartment. Looking for something? Oh, what if it isn't Jim or Jim? Jim? Jimbo? Jim? Jim? Jim Shoe? Jammer. Jammer. I knew that. I'm sorry. I just, I just came from the mixer and had one or two, seven, too many. <laughs> I was there. I didn't see you. Dink, I didn't see you there either. Oh, <laughs> I can see you now, though. All three of you. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't drink so much. Oh, my mother always said, a mixer without the drinks is like sex without the spanking. <clears throat> Do you need any help getting to your apartment? Why, is it time to sleep? I mean, not that sleeping's bad. It's my second favorite thing to do in bed. <laughs> Warning, ladies. Baiting what could be a ruthless and diabolical murderer with sex jokes can backfire and is recommended only for professionals. Well, what are you doing up here? Shh. Hmm. Mel sent us on a scavenger hunt. But now that I've found you, I think my hunt is over. <laughs> have everything I'll ever want in a woman. Except low standards. I can change that, huh? Hey, at least give some thought, huh? Remember, today's the first day of the rest of your sex life. <laughs> You cheerleaders sure know how to make an entrance. But enough about me. Isn't it time I got to know a little bit about you? I can't swim! Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thanks. Come on, you guys. You can't keep giving me gifts. Talk fairy. Yeah. 
Nothing. I mean, Jammer just won't talk about his past. I was soaking wet, and I couldn't get Roger to say anything. Well, they're hiding something. But still, it's hard to believe one of them might be a brilliant yet sociopathic Icelandic super spy. Hmm. What if Dee Dee's having any luck with Schreiber's computer? I'm just gonna start reading and you just see what you can understand and we'll just go from there, okay? Okay. Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Oh. Call me Ishmael. What is Lee Schreiber finding? Oh, Mr. Schreiber, hi. Sorry for being in your office like this, but I was getting ready to leave for the night when I saw poor Stanko here all by himself. We started talking and I agreed to give him extra tutoring in English when he told me about his dream. <laughs> The dream of so many immigrants who come to America seeking a better life. The dream of working hard and finding a place in a new world. The dream of communicating their thoughts and feelings in the native language. Okay, okay, Leif Schreiber has enough of the words. Uh, you, you do fine. Uh, gold star for your bottom. And uh, don't be late tomorrow. <sighs> Thanks for not telling on me, Stinko. <laughs> Guys here for you. The opposable thumbs, the walking upright, it's almost like they're evolved. Let me know if any of them are headed this way on all fours. I'm at the apartment. All clear. Excuse me? Tank tank tango? Oh! Oh hi. Well if it isn't Mr. Hooters. Ah, uh, you can call me Mel. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just have a revised active. Activity schedule for everyone. Huh? Huh? I am. Sorry. Um. Well, uh, there you go. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Mel. Why don't you come have a seat? With, with, with you? Yeah. Mel. <laughs> Have you ever had a girlfriend? One. Uh, when she left, she got me a gun. She said that if she ever came back, I should shoot her for being so stupid. <laughs> you really need to start dating. The only way you're going to get over your nervousness with women is to spend more <clears throat> time with them. You know, and it's pathetic. 
I'm the activities director, and I'm the only one around here who hasn't had any activity. Oh, oh you know what? You just need to jump start. That's all. You know, one good spin around the block, <laughs> and you'll be just fine. So, uh, how's about uh, next Saturday? Are, are you asking me out? Well, I'm not promising a future or anything, but I think you're nice and kind of cute. And I think if we put our heads together, we might come up with a way to make you a bit more confident. Okay. Uh, maybe a dinner or a m movie? Sure. Whatever you think is breast. Best. Oh. Best. I meant to say best. <laughs> well, how about eight o'clock? Eight o'clock. Absolutely. Eight o'clock. That's perfect. And thank you. That was nice. Well, it's good to see not all men are created equal. I'm in. Any suggestions on where Connolly might have hidden the digital recorder? Well, if it were me, I'd hide it where no man would dare to look. Heads up, pound on the loose and moving towards Fox. <sighs> Breeze, copy that. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Like an out of tune Emmy. <laughs> hey, are you using this? Oh! Who are you talking to? <sighs> Just you. Look, I was thinking about tonight. What do you say, you, me, game of clothing optional twister? Raj, free on a Saturday. Does Ripley's know about this? Oh, I had a date. Had a date. She had to go to a wedding. Her own. <laughs> I said, what, you can't do both? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Twister? Got the goods. I'm coming home. All clear out there? Tango. Champer. Breeze? Another scavenger hunt? Oh, you could say that. We're just looking for another girl for volleyball. You won't find one here. She's history. Oh. Well, guess I am too. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. You know what I mean, Deeds? No. No? What do you mean, no? These are the codes you got out of Schreiber's computer. They look like some kind of a deciphering program, don't they? No. No? No, take a closer look. I think that's Conrex binary base code. It's used to transmit all our government secrets. If he breaks that, there's no telling what he could use it for, right? No, 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 no. What, since when did you get so negative? No, Gunnar. I gave every team a nuna. Netak ikdorf eki pot nuthi of halda. Yet, like, if needed me, I feel it shown the delt. Sorry. Now, where were we? Whoa! Nelly, see that, Jack? That's Conrex binary base code. It's used to transmit all our government secrets. If the player breaks that, there's no telling what he'll do with it. I hadn't noticed. With all the interference, I haven't been able to get a clear signal to Cassie and Shane. I have no idea if they found Agent Connolly's recorder, and I have no idea if they're any closer to figuring out who's doing this. I'm getting closer to figuring out who's doing this. Every piece of evidence I've found leads back to Roger. Hello? Uh, oh, Roger, I was just thinking of you. Uh, well, right now? Well, sounds hot. I'll meet you in the steam room. Flex of blood. If these are Connolly's, then Roger's our player. Look at the bright side. We'll lose those few extra pounds. There are things I'd rather be doing than dying. Playing miniature golf. Wallpapering the guest bathroom. Watching the second season of The Bachelor. Nah. Rather be dying. You know, I always wondered when this finally happened how I'd react. You know, how I'd handle it. Me too. 
Would I handle it with dignity? Except as a part of life I can't change. being courageous. Yeah, you know, in the face of death and all. Exactly. I can't believe we were in there all night. How'd you find us? I stopped by your apartment, saw the digital recorder. When I couldn't find you, I listened to the part about the steam room and headed straight over. Who'd have thought a level-headed, down-earth guy like Roger could be bad? It's strange, though. I found the stolen codes on Leif Shriver's computer. Jack and I figured him for the player. Think they're working together? It's 8 a.m., Jamster. You don't want to get caught in rush hour traffic. Jammer! We'll catch up with you. Getting wet on this job. One, two, two three. three. Ah! Gone. Like magic. I mean, we all saw him go in. We followed him. He wasn't there. We have the complex under surveillance. He hasn't left. We also have word the player's broken the codes and the final transmission's going out within the hour. Here you go again, getting word. Yeah, where exactly do you get this word from? Never mind. And how come it's always just half the information? We know this, but we don't know that. Never mind. Uh, we're just saying our jobs would be a lot easier if this word included who the bad guy was. Okay, fine, moving on. When he finishes the last transmission, he'll vanish. We have to stop him before that happens. Yeah, well, the problem is all three of these guys look guilty. DDA signals, nothing yet. I keep getting alpha interference, which is odd because alpha waves are always associated with incoming signals, not outgoing transmissions. Like a TV signal? Just like. That's why the interference seems like it's everywhere, because it is. This place is blanketed with incoming broadcast signals. Meaning? Meaning the whole place is swarming with surveillance cameras. But that's not all. I'm getting a fix on a location. There it is. All the surveillance signals are feeding into apartment 315. Jammers. There is a camera in my bedroom. There's one in the bathroom, too. He's been watching everything we do. Ew! That's how we disappeared. Now, there's got to be a room full of monitors and equipment somewhere off that apartment. Look, guys, never in a million years are we going to find... Found it. Oh, Jammer. You know what they say about too much television. <gasps> Jammer. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Even if there wasn't a dead body here. Amazing, he could see every room in this place. Even Stenko's. Ew. What do I spy? 
Our balladeer wasn't a Barnes. He was, in fact, a Fondles, son of the late founder. I'm guessing Dad was the original voyeur who built this room when he built these apartments. So Jarrah wasn't a spy, just a sicko. And if we needed further proof, the complete Kenny G collection. Mm. You guys, check this out. What's he doing? Oh, come on, any self-respecting pervert of a Zoom. Oh, there it is. He's writing his mother. Doesn't seem to be any hurry to transmit the code. Which one of them is doing this? And what do I spy part two? It looks like someone's using Leaf's computer on the sly. And he's getting ready to transmit. We're too late. Actually, you're right on time. Mel? You can call me player. Thanks to Jammer's system, I knew that you weren't cheerleaders. Uh, technically dancers. The Avengers don't have cheerleaders. Fine. Dancers for the LA Avengers soccer team. Arena. Football. Whatever. I, I'm doing the big villain scene here, okay? Anyway, I knew that I had to get to you before you got to me. Jammer, he caught me on his camera, so I had to kill him. Then I came here, because I knew you'd see me on the screens and you'd follow. I hate to do this. I was looking forward to our date. Don't worry. You'll have plenty more in prison. I just have one question, Mel. Why? Not for the reasons you probably think. Sex? Money? Thrills? OK, so there's some overlap. But the main reason is that with this code, Every American espionage and military secret will be laid bare. The entire geopolitical landscape will shift as America becomes a second-rate, vulnerable has-been, and Iceland becomes a world power. Iceland? What did we ever do to you? Nothing. That's the whole point. We are overlooked. We are made fun of. We are the stammering copier repairmen of the world. But all that is about to change when I upload this code and send it off. Didn't we just stop the computer from uploading dangerous secrets last week? No, that was the week before last. All right. Speaking of power, It didn't finish uploading. It didn't send. Didn't that happen last week, too? <sighs> Gunnar, what is you getting the hair now? Gunnar, stock, he's tutor. Your first sentence in English. Very good. <laughs> uh, Deeds, how do you say unlock us now so we can chase the bad man? Man, I have a delayed effect on chicks, but once it kicks in... Not you, your car. We need to catch Mel. Supply, demand. You go out with me on five dates, one of which is to my high school reunion. Three dates, no reunion. Five, reunion. Two dates, no reunion. Five, reunion. One date plus the reunion, and you don't end up singing for the Vienna Boys Choir. I can work with that. Deals off. <laughs> so, you're back. Just had to pick up a few more uh, players. <laughs> Where'd you get those guys? Right here. Me. You. Oh, 
you, 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 and you. No, no, not you. You, you. Shame I dropped my keys. <laughs> Not bad for girl agents. <laughs> Go ahead. Make my bed. He's mine. Nice job, ladies. This will look very positive in your parole board file. Gosh, Jack. As if working with you isn't reward enough. Sarcasm, however, will not. Mystique, leave Shriver hard from speak. Return you and teach my staff and me, who saw his hovercraft and near to you. Oh, leave. I'd love to, really. But I have to start another job. I will promise you this. After this experience, I'll take a little bit of Iceland with me wherever I go. Gunnar, stock his. Tutar. Uh -huh.